this time, let's look into finding the integrals involving quotient uh, trigonometric functions, that's your tangent and cotangent, and your reciprocal trigonometric functions, which is your cosecant and secant functions. So as we can see here, we have different set of guidelines for our functions. So for tangent, uh, for the powers of tangent and cotangent, if it's even, it's easy to work with because we have in our basic, uh, in our basic formulas, we would have, we already know what the integrals of uh, secant squared and cosecant squared already are. So more or less, uh, once we have that, we can use, uh, more or less we can work with those, uh, with those identities. So, uh, although it's quite a lot to look into, it's quite a lot, uh, to work with, uh, we'll just try to work with them one by one because that's, these are our rules, our guidelines. Uh, so let's first start with this one. We are asked to find the integral of tangent cube 2x dx. So that's the first one where it says here that if if the power of this is odd, we extract an even powered function, then we use our Pythagorean identities. So in this case, we don't have actually much to extract with. The only even power we can extract here is tangent squared 2x, then tangent 2x dx. There. Then we know that the Pythagorean identity involving tangent is that it's 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. Hence, we change our tangent squared x to secant squared x minus 1. Hence, we change this. We change this into the integral of, sorry, but tangent but it becomes secant squared 2x minus 1 times tangent 2x dx. So from here, what we would now need to work with would be here. So we can now actually distribute the tangent 2x here, making our integrand secant, oops, sorry, secant squared 2x tangent 2x minus tangent 2x dx. So, you can now separate this as the integral of secant squared 2x tangent 2x dx minus the integral of tangent 2x dx. The second integral, can we have a specific formula for that? And the second one can also work now with integration, uh, uh with, with new substitution. So here, for this specific one, we'll have u is equal to tangent, uh, 2x. And then du will become equal to 2 secant squared 2x dx. So we'll have 1 half du is equal to secant squared 2x dx. Hence, I'm going to have here integral uh, 1 half integral So now this will become 1 half integral of u du. We go. So the other one, we can actually just bring it down later on. So this becomes 1 half times u squared over 2. This time, here it becomes minus. We have a specific uh, formula for the integral of, uh, what do you call this? The integral of tangent. Hence, we are going to have the ln of the absolute value of secant plus. Let's see here. So now we change this to one fourth that's tangent squared two x minus L N of secant two x. Let's see. We're putting the absolute value because we want to make sure that we get only the positive values. Hence, the 
integral of tangent cube to x dx is equal to one fourth tangent squared to x minus ln of the absolute value of secant to x plus c. There you go. Now let's look at another example. We now have secant to the fourth of 3x. So we are told, let's go back to that slide, here you go, for the powers of our reciprocal, if n is even, we do the same thing, we extract an even powered function, so we can use our Pythagorean identities. So since this is uh, secant to the fourth, Let's now extract uh, what we have. The well, what we can only extract here actually is that we have secant to the fourth dx dx. What we can only extract here is the integral of secant squared dx, secant squared dx dx. It's not secant to the fourth. That's the only thing that we can do about that. And we know that if we have secant the one that involves uh, the Pythagorean identity that involves secant is still 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. Hence, since they're the same, you can change either one of the two. I'll change the second one so that it's easier to look at when it's uh, distributed. So we were going to have secant squared 3x times 1 plus tangent squared 3x. So distributing this, we're going to have secant squared dx plus secant squared dx tangent squared dx dx. So separating them, we can have the integral of secant squared dx dx plus the integral of Secant squared dx, tangent squared dx, dx. So there you go. So for the first one, it's easy because the integral of secant squared u du is uh, tangent u. So if we let u be equal to 3x here, du will be equal to 3dx. So 1 third du will be equal to dx. Hence, we're going to get on this side, that's one-third. So let's write it better. One-third uh, tangent 3x. For the second one, we can also try to get a u substitution here. So u would be equal to tangent 3x this time. And then du would be equal to secant squared, sorry, 3. Set secant squared 3x dx. Therefore, I'm going to have 1 third du is equal to secant squared 3x dx. So that's what I have here. So I'm going to have still an integral of 1 third. Integral of that would be u squared du. So going down, that's equal to. 1 third tangent dx plus 1 third times u root over t plus c. So therefore, I can now say that the integral of secant to the fourth 3x dx is equal to 1 third tangent 3x plus 1 9 tangent cube 3x plus c. There you go. Now let's just have second cube x, where this time the power is an odd integer. So according to the slide for the guidelines, uh, if it's secant and its power is odd, 
we have to do integration by parts. So how do we go about that? So very similar, we would don't have much of a choice but to separate it to separate an even power in the odd power. So uh, or a square for that matter. So in this specific case, what have the integrand of second cube x dx? This becomes the integrand of second squared x second x or secant x dx. So from this point, that's where we now do integration by parts. Uh, as we know, it's secant squared uh, x dx that has an integral. So we're referred, so if this would be dv, this would be this would be u. So we both have u is equal to secant x, while dv is equal to secant squared x dx. Hence, v would be equal to tangent x. Well, du will be equal to secant x tangent x. We're now following our formula for integration by parts. The integral, uh, the integral of this now would be that secant x tangent x minus the integral of tangent x, and then. Uh, tangent x and then secant x tangent x dx. So this uh, we now have an only an integral on the second term. That's the integral of tangent squared x secant x dx. Which, if you're going to notice what we had a while ago, if uh, as we mentioned before, since we now have a tangent squared x and then a secant x dx, so we can turn this tangent squared to secant x for easier, uh, for easier integration. So, we know the tan uh, complete Pythagorean identity that we're going to have. Secant x tangent x minus integral now of secant squared x minus 1. And then, this becomes secant x dx. So therefore, by, sorry for the only handwriting, but by now distributing, this becomes secant x tangent x minus the integral of secant squared, sorry, this time now it becomes secant cube, secant cube x minus secant x dx. So I now have secant x tangent x minus the integral of secant cube x dx minus the integral of secant x dx. We have a special formula for the integral of secant x dx, but this is our concern. We actually just turned out from what we originally have. But if you remember, when we perform integration by parts and this happens, that we come out of the integral that's the original given, we have to transpose it. So transposing it here, I'm going to have 2 times the integral of secant cube x dx, which is now equal to secant x tangent x minus, I'm now going to integrate secant x dx, which is the, which is the ln of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Oops, sorry. And then make it a constant one half. Thus, integral of secant squared x dx is equal to one half secant x tangent x minus one half ln of secant x plus tangent x plus so let's change that tangent x plus c. There you go. Now, what if we have products of secants and tangents? Here we have tangent to the fifth x, secant to the fourth x. Let's go back to our. Oh, it says if we have a product, if n the, the uh, 
uh, what do you call this, the exponent of secret or uh, of the reciprocal is even, we do the same as the second bullet. We extract one even powered function, then use Pythagorean identities. Let's do that. So from here, from the integral of tangent to the fifth x, secant to the fourth x dx, what we're asked is to separate a squared power. And then from there, we work with our Pythagorean identities. Since this is secant to the fourth, the only thing that we can do here will become tangent to the fifth x secant squared x secant squared x dx. Because it's secant to the fourth. It's the only thing that we can actually do. So from here, we can now change this using the Pythagorean identity. We're going to have the integral of tangent to the fifth x secant squared x multiplied to secant squared x minus 1 dx. Uh, separating the integrals, we're going to have tangent to the fifth x. And, uh, ah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. My conversion here is wrong. This should have become 1 plus tangent squared x, or tangent squared x plus 1. My bad. So from here, this should have become tangent to the 7x secant 2x dx plus integral of tangent to the 5x secant squared secant squared x 2x. And from here, we can actually work on our uh, integrals using u sub. We're going to let u be equal to tangent x du would be equal to sec secant squared x dx. Hence, I'm going to have this the integral of u raised to 7 du. We can also do the same here because that's secant squared. So that's u raised to tangent x du would be equal to secant squared x dx so we don't have plus integral of u raised to 5 du which gives us 1 8 to raised to 8 plus 1 over 6 u raised to 6 plus c therefore the integral of tangent to the fifth x secant to the fourth x dx would be equal to 1 8 tangent to the 8 x plus 1 6 tangent to the 6 x plus c. There you go. Let's have now another example. Here we have tangent to the fifth x secant to the seventh x dx. So if we're going to look at our guidelines, if n is odd, we have to given here. We are given tangent to the fifth and sec secant to the seventh. So n is odd. M is odd. We will have to uh, perform integration by parts. And to do that, we would not, uh, maybe it's better to add here, but I'm going to edit it later on. What we would have to do here is to separate. Separate tangent and secant or cotangent cosecant. Let's try that on what we're solving. So, what we would have to do here is we have now to separate tangent x, secant x, and we'll be left with tangent to the fourth x, secant to the sixth x, dx. So, oops, sorry, I think I made a mistake here. I just noticed it right now. So, 
Well, I'll change it in the present. If this should be if M is odd, and if this is if M is even. My so this is what we'll be doing. We separate tangent Q second Q or cosecant Q cotangent Q cosecant Q. Since what we have is odd. So there, once we separate that, once we separate that, we can, can now change, uh, we can now change tangent, uh, to, uh, tangent using our identity. So with that, we're going to have this equal to now tangent x, secant x, then this changes to secant squared x minus 1 squared, because this is tangent squared x squared. Then this becomes secant of the 6x ex. So there. So although yes, it's kind of difficult now. Uh, it looks difficult now. Let's now simplify stuff. I'm going to combine this. I'm go going to have tangent x secant to the 7x. Then I'm going to have to expound this to secant of the 4x minus 2 secant squared x minus 1 dx. And then, uh, distributing that, I'm going to now have integral of tangent x secant to the 11x dx. There you go. And then, minus 2 times the integral of tangent x secant to the uh, what do you call this? Secant to the 9x minus the integral of tangent x secant to the 7x dx. I'm sorry, I forgot dx. So there you go. So as we know, now from here it might look a little bit confusing, but this is what we're going to do. Oops, sorry, I thought it was So this will now become, we'll now separate again one secant x here, so it becomes tangent x secant x secant to the 10 x. Minus 2 integral of tangent x secant x secant to the 8x. And this becomes minus the integral of tangent x secant x secant to the 6x. dx, sorry. dx, dx. Do you see the reason why? Because if you recall, the, uh, the derivative, if 2 is equal to secant x, then its du would be secant x tangent x or tangent x secant x. So that's why from here we're going to let u be equal to secant x, du would be equal to secant x tangent x. And same goes for all. So here we're going to actually have the integral of u raised to 10 du minus 2 u uh, to the integral of u raised to 8 du minus the integral of u raised to 6 du, which will become u raised to 11 over 11 minus, ah, sorry, not plus, minus 2 u raised to 9 over 9 minus u raised to 7 over 7 plus c. Therefore, therefore, the integral of Tangent to the fifth x, let's just clarify that, and secant to the seventh x, secant to the seventh x would be equal to 1 over 11 secant raised to 11 x minus 2 ninths, secant to the ninth x minus secant 1 over 7, secant to the seventh x plus c. So again, to repeat, if it's uh, secant and tangent with both odd powers, you have to uh, factor out one secant tangent. And remember that that secant tangent is the derivative of secant. 
which you can use in your U substitution. And those are some of the integration techniques involving trigonometric functions.